amazing audience we are live today is saturday the 20th of july is it did i get that correct is it the 20th i'm getting lost it's in the it's out, it, is it, it the 20th or the 21st oh my god it's gosh. the 21st oh yeah. there we go is it 21st it's the 21st it's the 21st of july yes it was the 20th i should start doing that before i get started <laughs> <laughs> but it is what it is right. i'm live with dr carol murphy it's a pleasure to connect with you face to face. You are real. Welcome to Butte. Thank you. We are in the beautiful city of Butte, right? That's right, Butte, Montana. There we go. It's uh -huh. amazing here. Lots of architecture. We had the opportunity to walk through the market space, right? Which is the farmer's market. The farmer's market, yeah. yeah. And then we got to meet some amazing people as well. Uh, but most of all, we meet you. So tell me what's the update the last time we had a conversation we spoke about a few things a lot around the radio station and how you do your podcast yeah right? yeah uh what else is new or even are you still doing that yes yes we are still doing that our guests yesterday so one of the things that's changed is the time in the the day has moved to friday at five okay from monday uh-huh so Every Friday at 5 Mountain Standard Time, you can listen live, live stream from KBMF 102.5. Uh, I think it's ButteAmericaRadio.org or Butte America Foundation. Um, we're connected to Butte America Foundation as well. And our guest yesterday was um, a gal that founded a company called Eco Montana, and they have all recyclable, decompostable. Um, or compostable um, to go where so knives, forks, spoons, plates, cups, non-styrofoam. Mm -hmm. so yeah, well. so lots of very. We've been totally, completely blessed by the guests that we've had, and lots of very cool people doing very cool things. So, Heartstock Radio, check us out. We Definitely. also have a podcast. Yeah. yeah. What's the name of the podcast? Heartstock Radio. There we go. <laughs> and what's interesting, I'll tell you, is that I'm wearing swe a sweatshirt, right? Uh huh. And she's dressed all loosely. <laughs> but we, we encountered a 10 degrees temperature here at Celsius when we got in. So just to let you all know, right? It's very cool now. <laughs> yeah. It's warming up. Thankfully, we're in the sun. Right? Yeah, this is like a heat wave for Montana. Mm, so it's usually cold here. Uh, much cooler than this. Mm. Yep, yep. Now, one of the things we spoke about was what you do with this. Right. So I'm also the founder of Purse for the People. Um, and Purse for the People, the way that it's connected to Heartstock Radio is we believe in using business as a force for good on the planet. And that's what we talk about on Heartstock Radio. Um, this is a, a handbag company. The concept is a little bit like Build-A-Bear. You go online, you get to design it yourself. And then we assemble it, ship it to the customer's door. All the materials are good for the planet, organic. This particular leather is plant-based. It comes from Italy. So our goal is to basically create fashion that's both beautiful and good for the planet. Yeah. So again, purse for the people, right? Purse for the people. Mm -hmm. It's interesting as well, though. Like you could check out the website. It's very easy to use. I, I actually love the website. So you could design it, but it's very simple to, uh, to design. It is. We tried to make it. It's just like five mouse clicks. Yeah. And we really um, see this as a revolutionary way of doing manufacturing. It's a little bit how, like how Tesla makes their cars. If you go to a Tesla lot, they'll have three or four models. You decide which model you want, and then you go to the computer, and you design it yourself, and then they make it. So there's no waste. It's um, much more sustainable than the current way that fashion is made, which is you guess at how many you're going to sell, you make all of those, and if they don't sell, then they're disposed of in yeah. some way, shape, or form. One of the segments we love to cover is your own unique real shoes. And if you do desire, we would like to know what is one of your uh, struggles that you've had over the last year. Now, the concept is your own unique real shoes, you see it, Interestingly enough, it's rather intriguing, right? <laughs> <laughs> My, I was out hiking in, in the woods. That's what I love about living here. This morning? So, this morning, I was in the woods bright and early. Oh, that's intriguing. So, yeah. so I can see that, and then it tells a story, but it never tells an accurate story like you can tell of the steps you've taken, right? 
which then speaks into the struggles. So what's one struggle you've had over the last year? The biggest struggle that I've had is finding a manufacturing partner because so much of manufacturing takes place outside of the United States. I mean, that was part of our story, the Industrial Revolution here in the United States. And we, it's like we've evolved um, beyond ourselves at this point because we have this unsustainable model of everything being made overseas. So trying to make this here and even finding the raw materials, none of it is made in the United States. So that just increases the carbon footprint because it all has to be shipped in from other places. So it all kind of gets rolled up into the same ball of wax as taking a new, different approach, shifting the paradigm of business, of how it's done, so that it really, truly does serve us and the planet. Yeah. So what do you regret, or do you have any regrets in, from the point of deciding that you would create this? Mm -hmm. Now having created it, right? Uh, do you have any regrets? No. <laughs> That's great. I can take a high five. <laughs> when you heard that this guy from the Caribbean was coming to meet you, what did you think? I thought that was extraordinary. I love what you're doing. Um, the, the courage that it's taking for you guys to take this on and the beautiful result. I just, I can, I get your vision. I see it. And I think when you're, when it's all said and done, you won't have any regrets either. Yeah. What are you most excited about right now? Oh gosh, so many things. Um, I'm most excited about this very long list of the radio station and the impact that it's having on our community, the work that Clark, our Clark Grant, our station manager and all of the DJs, all the people who volunteer, the impact that it's having upon our community, the changes that I see here in our community, there's a lot of people who are making things, there are a lot of makers, artists, musicians. Um, so I feel like we are on an upswing as far as Purse for the People goes. Um, the, I see a clear path ahead. I have um, lots and lots of support. Many, many people who are helping us make this happen. Um, so I'm very excited about that. What was the name of the thing we had, the sweet treat? Oh, baklava. Baklava. Yeah, we, 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 you that have a bag of baklava right here. Yeah. yeah I'm sorry. Made, can't see it, so. <laughs> Homemade by Amanda Curtis, who is uh, one of the founding members of KBMF. She started the radio station. Yeah, I met and, her. She's yeah. tall. She's very tall. She's a, she does amazing things. She's a, a math teacher here locally in the high school. She's a state representative, so she's an elected official. Um, she's a great baklava maker. Yeah. <laughs> I can definitely say that. <laughs> so, my friend in closing, is there anything else you'd like to share with our amazing audience? Um, start where you are. It's the same thing that I said in our radio interview. Start where you are and do what you can. You have a gift to give the world. Don't hold it. back. I love it. I mean, just hold up that first one more time because I found it to be one of the most beautiful things <laughs> I've seen designed in a very long time. Thank you. Amanda loves it. Yeah, and it's got all these really cool pockets on the inside. It's yeah. all either recycled material or plant-based. Amazing audience. Again, it's fun. We're in Butte. Oh, it's beautiful. I had a conversation with Cara, Dr. Cara Murphy. Amazing. Uh, right outside of the Carpenters Union building, right? Uh, what I love about it is the number there is 112. Uh, she brought me to that exact location. 12 is definitely one of those numbers we see <laughs> pop up often. Thank you so much. You know? Uh, but yeah, 112. You should show it to them, Amanda. You should just like show them because I, I, they probably would not believe me, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but she, she didn't even know that what For she real? was doing, right? <laughs> Capital Union number 112. Yeah. Love it. All right. Thank you. Doctor, for being on what is inspired by 12 Minute Convos with Angel Joe. Oh, thank you. Thanks for coming to Butte. Really thank appreciate you. meeting you. Have fun. you.